Good morning, dear students. Uh, my name is Farhan Mazar, and the subject today we are studying is Cambridge O Levels Physics 5054. Today we are going to talk about a very important topic. Uh, it's a property of waves, we call it diffraction. Diffraction is done by both kind of the waves, uh, mechanical waves and the electromagnetic waves, they both do diffraction. So in this video we are going to learn about how the diffraction takes place. So diffraction is when a wave passes through a gap. So first of all, we are going to talk about the water waves. So diffraction through a narrow gap. In the figure 3.1.10a and 3.1.10b, straight water waves in a ripple tank are meeting gaps formed by obstacles. In figure 3.1.10a, the gap is narrow and the wave fronts curve around the edges of the gap, producing a circular wave front. So diffraction due to an edge or wide gap. In the figure 3.1.10b, the gap is wide. It's like 10 centimeter compared with the wavelength and the wave front remains straight, ex except that at the edges of the gap where some curvature around the edges occurs. The spreading of waves at the edges of obstacle is called diffraction. When designing harbors, engineers use models like that in the figure uh, 3.1.11 to study it. Effects of wavelength and gap size on diffraction. In the figure 3.1.10a, the gap width is about the same as the wavelength of the wave, which is 1 centimeter. The wave fronts that passes through the through become circular and spread out in all directions. In the figure 3.1.10b, uh, uh, the gap is wide, which is 10 centimeter compared with the wavelength and the wave continues straight on. Some spreading occurs, but it is less obvious. Diffraction at the edges. For a single edge, diffraction will occur at, a, at the edge. The spreading and curvature of the wavefront around the edge will be more noticeable for longer wavelengths. Diffraction of the radio waves around an obstacle is shown in the figure 3.3.4a. Long, medium and short waves, wavelengths of 2 km to 10 meter, these diffract round obstacles so can be received even when hills are in their way. Figure 3.3.4a, they are also reflected by layers of electrically charged particles in the upper atmosphere like the ionosphere, which makes long distance radio reception possible. So these are the few things about the diffraction of the waves and you can see that uh, uh, diffraction is done by the water waves, diffraction is also done by the sound waves, the diffraction is also done by the electromagnetic waves. So thank you very much for watching this video. If you find this video interesting and useful, play, please share the link of this video onto your Facebook, onto your Instagram, and onto your Twitter account. So, thank you very much once again, and have a good day, and God bless you all.